okay, I don't know why I'm even bothering with that. We're gonna use the app because, hello, I have an app, the FanDuel. And of course it's an iPad, they have them for Android, whatever. Um, okay, so if you look closely, there's only one contest left. It's the NFL on Sunday. And the reason why is because they need to have at least two games. Because if they don't have at least two games, you can't choose players from three teams. And it turns more into gambling than it is an actual skill contest. Um, I, I think that's what they'll end up saying in court. We're going to choose tournament right here. Tournament is the one you can win good money on. So you see all these things by fee. We're going to list it by fee backwards for just a dollar or more. You have to deposit $10 in these guys. If, if, like if you already have an account or if you can start with 10 but it's 10 bucks. So I'll give you guys a tip right here. You see how it says single entry? Single entry means that you can't put 100 different entries in. And believe me, there are guys that put $100 in to this contest right here, even though it costs a buck or 200 and the reason why is if you hit the info button and it explains it and you have to go through all this stuff and you look at the prizes and everything else, top prize is 20 grand. But you're allowed to put in more than one entry into these contests. See how it says right there? Max 200 entries. If you put 200 entries in and you know what the fuck you're doing, you're going to land near that top and you're going to win one of those prizes. That's why they call this a skill contest. Anyways, moving on. Okay. So, quarterback. You see, uh, it has quarterback, two running backs, three wide receivers, a tight end, a kicker, and a defense. Now, what you do basically, you got to put together your team, and you know, whichever does the best, like you know, all together out of all the four teams that are playing this weekend. So, you got four quarterbacks, really. You know, one of them could get injured, but you got Cam Newton, Tom Brady, Carson Palmer, and Peyton Manning. And we're taking Cam Newton here. Now you can look at these average points or everything like that, but you also need to think about whether the game is high scoring or not, and you know what kind of defenses and whatnot. And Cam Newton likes to run. He's playing against a pass defense. All the pass defenses are good at this point, but you know at least he can pass. And he's only got one good receiver, Ted Ginn, and we'll take him later. But he's got his tight end Olsen, and Olsen's really good too. So we'll knock down Newton real fast. And there's going to be a ton of different ways you can do this, guys. You could do Brady, Palmer, every. There's a whole bunch of ways. But I'm just showing you what I'm doing real fast. We got Cam Newton. Go ahead with running backs. Now, Johnson has been really good lately. But he's expensive. Now, you see, if you take the most expensive guy, you're going to end up with a lineup at the end that doesn't meet your little salary remaining. Every guy has some fake salary. You can spend 60,000. Think of it as 60 million. Cam million costs you eight and a half million or whatever. Think of it any way you want. It could be dollars, to, you know, slash all the zeros off. But, but anyways, we're gonna take Stewart because he gets a lot of volume, even with Cam new at running. So now we have two Carolina players uh, and are you want? Are you gonna take Carolina for the whole thing? No, you can only choose four players from the team at most. So you can have four from one, four from another, and then you can have like because you have nine players total, you need one from a third team, and that's why you you know you have to have at least two games. They won't let you just bet on one game, and I think that's smart. That makes it so it's not so much gambling, and you have to do skill. This is not an easy thing to do. So here's your next one. All right, so we got White, we got Anderson, we got Hillman. Now, Anderson did well in the last game during the playoffs. If you guys are watching NFL at all, I mean, compared to Hillman, Hillman had like 30 or 40 yards. Anderson put up like 80 or 90 or some shit like that, and he had a score too. I mean, they do have a sharing running back system, so that's why they're cheaper. And, you know, you could take White for New England, and he's kind of like the more go-to guy now than Bolden because White's actually getting stuff done. But, you know, we're going to take Anderson. We're going to keep riding that Denver wants to go with the guy that's able to punch it in at the goal line. And we'll see what happens. This is all gambling, guys, remember. Gambling slash skill. Uh, you know, we'll see how that court case plays out. I mean, I'll, I'll admit, guys, there's luck in this, but... 
you were, I mean, we're making a video on picking it, so I don't know what else to explain. We got one more running back. Sorry. Oh, I fucked up. Okay, so Anderson changes back to Stewart because I wanted Stewart. I explained he has lots of volume, and if he's going to get 20 touches in the game, he's probably going to get, you know, 50, 60, 70 yards. Hopefully, once a touchdown, he gets some points. I'll explain points in a moment right as we're done. Let's take Anderson. Let's go to wide receivers. Wide receivers. Okay. Larry Fitzgerald. He had a balls out game last time. I'm just going to take him and just see what happens. He's expensive, but you know, we're going to knock him out. Wide receivers. Now look, we got Cam Newton. When we're watching the game, Cam Newton's going to get four points for a touchdown. But his wide receivers are going to get six. We're really going to want to have a wide receiver that is also kind of on the Carolina team. It just makes sense. It's called stacking. But regardless of that, let's take Ginn. He's the best one. Look at the top of the whole list. Do you find anyone in the highest salary up right up until you get to Ginn? And even down to, you know, you got Brown there at 5,300, but no, I don't. And you guys on the comments, like, no, 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 take Brown. Do this. We're going to take Ginn. Ginn's our guy. We have one more wide receiver to add in. And I've studied this already, guys. So um, we got Edelman. If you like New England and Brady being the only guy he's going to go to, yes, it makes sense. You got Floyd, you got Sanders. I don't like Floyd already because you, you've already got you know, over there, you've got Fitzgerald. That's the, you know, you're hoping that most of the scoring goes to one of the guys, you know, half of the touchdowns or whatever. We got Sanders and we got Thomas. Honestly, I like Sanders more. Thomas was good, went too heavily in his last game because his mom had, you know, gotten out of prison for the first time and they were kind of focusing on him. But Sanders is, if you look at those, like, points he averages very close to the same thing the number is about the same it's only $200 difference but watch how much that'll matter at the end let's put Sanders in notice we're spreading it around we got two Carolina players two Denver players they're at home home players are nice a third Carolina player now and the one from Arizona we've covered three teams that requirements met but we can only do one more Carolina person no matter what Let's see what our tight ends are. And we're already going to want to use our tight end because who else can Cam Newton pass to but Olsen? And he's been good. Look at those average points. Average points are 14 for Gronkowski, and we're almost 12 for Al Olsen. Let's take Olsen because he's a lot cheaper. What did you say? $2,000. Remember that fake salary? And, you know, if there's more later, you guys will see. We could bump up to Gronkowski if New England's going to have a good game. But, okay, so we have 9,600 remaining. The minimum on most of these guys is 4,500. So let's see what happens. Defenses. Now, you guys can laugh at me. Yes, the Panthers have a good defense, everything else. But basically what I'm looking for is New England going against an aging quarterback that's thrown... What? I think he's thrown more an interception and a half or throw so in the games, if I'm averaging right. One or two each game that he's played this season, and they're running with Manning. So I'm going to take New England because if they get an interception and they happen to run it back for a touchdown, that defense is going to go great on points. So I'll have the Patriots. It says we have $5,000. Or No, I didn't do it. Come on, add. Close. Stupid. Okay, it's done. We got $5,000 left. Let's look at our kickers. We have Catanzaro, Gano, McManus. And this is something where the kicker is a little bit of a crapshoot. You need to kind of call the game in some ways. Like, this is more of a gambling aspect. See, if you think Carolina and New England are going to meet in the Super Bowl, great. Well, that means Carolina's defense is probably going to stop Arizona. But are they going to get a shutout? Arizona's a decent team. Same with Denver against New England. I'd be looking at McManus and Catanzaro right there because both of those two kickers are probably the ones that will kick field goals because the losing team kicks field goals and the winning teams kick touchdowns, right? All right, so let's take Catanzaro at the bottom there. 
we can't take Gano. We already have four Carolinas. But it says we have $400 left. So let's go back to our wide receivers and see if there's any way we could spend the money a little better. We, Stewart, you can't because if $400, would, you'd need 1000 to go up to Johnson. And we don't like Johnson anyways. Anderson. We could go up 100 bucks to White, but I've already talked about that. I mean, it could go back to Bolden. You never know. I mean, White could go. But honestly, New England's a passing team. They just are. It's the wide receivers. Fitzgerald is the best one of the bunch. We're done there. Sanders. Now, Sanders can be upgraded to Edelman. And you could get some New England scoring with Tom Brady passing. Look at those average points there. 16 versus 12. And then there's Ginn. Ginn could be upgraded, I'm sure, by 300 to Brown. You'd have another Arizona player, but you already have the best Arizona player. And honestly, Fitzgerald's a little bit matchup proof. They're going to have to pass to him, and they know he's good, but he still seems to score. Let's upgrade Sanders and see what happens. And we are at Edelman instead of Demarius Thomas. And you guys can, you know, this is where you have fun with Dan Fantasy. Edelman for New England. Maybe Thomas is going to have the good day instead of Sanders. Maybe Floyd has a good day. And you do two Arizona players. I like to spend my money, especially if I can get capture scoring from other teams. We'll go with Edelman. And notice, we are now betting with zero salary remaining. We've chosen a daily fantasy sports lineup, complete, thinking about options and the way things are going to go, the time remaining, and it's all done. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be submitting this lineup, and I will show you guys what the results is later. Enjoy. Thanks.